This is a short video to show you how to collect uh, waste oil. Uh, this is on the service station. Uh, this is all the rubbish, the bits of burnt bacon and burger and fat and everything. Horrible mess. It's absolutely stinks. These are the large uh, containers with the uh, suction pump on. Well, the pipe for the suction pump connected to you that uh, pump and pump it out. It takes a very long time to fill one of these up. filter all that at the moment. This is a 400 micron uh, strainer onto my heater. Once that's strained through, heat it up and then filter it through to a 10 micron filter. You can even go down to a 1 micron filter. It's quite a while to get through. The fats in the bottom of the drum. That's after it's uh, been filtered. You can see just the bits of fat and chips and whatever else is in there. So it gets a real lot of waste. Fat fat bolts and everything in there. Yeah, look, see what we'll be this is a 400 micron strainer straining waste vegetable oil into 55 gallon drum with the heating element on that's what's come out of the drum What we're doing now is heating the oil up to 70 degrees. See it's bubbling away. And then this has reached temperature. And I heated it up last night and uh, just covered it. It was still warm this morning. And uh, with the sun out, as bright as it is, um, it's not having to heat up much at all because it's so hot. And I'm going to transfer it over into the blue drum and filter it through a 10 micron filter. Well, this has been pumped from the heated tank. And through a 10 micron filter onto the receiving tank. As the fats get in there, uh, it gets slower and slower. You see it coming through very slowly. model T60 centrifuge it's connected to this is the centrifuge model FT60. We have a pressure gauge and what we do we open this valve here to maximum when first starting it up and then closing it until 
the centrifuge, uh, sorry, till the pressure gauge. reads 90 psi. This is connected to a Pusey Viscom pump. And on the pump <coughs> we have an on off switch just there. <coughs> the 55 gallon drum has a heating element and then on the back side of the drum we have a drain hose and on the heating element we have a safety plug to it.